Welcome back to Master Your Ash. I'm your host, Michael Presdale, and today we've got a bomb courtesy of good old Petey Pete, the Cigar Collective himself on Instagram and on YouTube as well. Hopefully more YouTube content to follow soon. Pete, thank you once again for sending this 4.9, I think was what I said that it's, uh, it came in at 4.9 pound bomb. And I mean, when you when you open this bad boy up, it is just filled to the brim full of sticks. I can't say enough, Pete, how much I appreciate this dude. This is above and beyond. And thank you for being such a great brother of the leaf. So we've got a Dunbarton bag. We've got a mixed sticks bag <laughs> to go through. We've got a Dunbarton Stillwell Star edition bag. And then we also have Placencia, it's facing me, Placencia, as well as Crowned Heads Osgener Family Cigars. So I guess we'll start there, right? Crowned Heads Osgener Family Cigars. Mil Diaz, limited edition, 2023 right here. There we go. That's the money shot. The Four Kicks, limited edition, 2021. La Careme, LE 2022. Blood Medicine. That looks really cool. Mil Diaz, a limited edition, 2022 to go along with that 2023. The Four Kicks, limited edition, 2022 Lancero. That's dope. Pi Synesthesia. This looks Connecticut in shade, so I'm going to guess that this is the original yellow label, even though the foot band is off. Las Calaveras, and this is the 2021, I believe it is. Luminosa. Very cool little... Petite Corona, Lampedioso. This is the blue, the bluegrass one, or the one that has something to do with the bands and stuff like that. I have no idea. OG looking for kicks. 2022, Las Calaveras. The Mil Diaz 2021 to complete those. A little Bosphorus. I'm guessing this is probably like an OG release. Another Las Calaveras. This is the 2020 in the purple band. The little tease, the the little tease of a stick. Uh, this is a La Petite in the Lonsdale, which was the original release. And Las Calaveras 2019. So just like going straight down the line, bro. Unreal. 2023's Las Calaveras, the newest edition. Super dope. Of Toast Across America, Lost Angels. So these two right here were two that I was unable to get my hands on initially. And I am super excited because I have heard nothing but amazing things about these lost angels really looking forward to this pete thanks man this is incredible just in just in the first pack moving on to placencia toast across america ama del fuego in this beautiful figurado pigtail cap very neat ah the etifel i have not had the opportunity to smoke this one yet pete but I, I do know that it comes at a hefty, hefty price point. So that's like a $65, $70 smoke if you can find it. Another opportunity to smoke the Year of the Rabbit. <laughs> Very cool, man. Thank you. And then the special edition Year of the Ox. I actually thoroughly, you know, enjoyed this almost as much as the Tiger. It was really good. Speaking of, I know what this is. The Year of the Tiger. Add that to my collection. Thank you, sir. Figurado Ama Fuerte V Generation V Another couple of Alma Fuertes here as well This is going to be the Nestor And the Robusto Imadoro, very cool And then one of my favorites is The Eduardo, box press Beautiful Toro The Cosechas in the 19, in the 146 And the 149, the 149 I've heard Great things about but I've also heard the 146 is good too. I believe the Cosecha Pervadas, I've had the 146, but haven't had the 149. So looking forward to trying that out. So I know that John's a big fan of it over at Cigar Alchemist. Sizes. Very cool. Super dope, man. Thank you again. Three Stillwell stars. It looks like one of them is the limited edition, the holiday edition for 2022. Beautiful stick. Love this cigar, man. So happy to try it be able to try it again. So the Navy and the Aromatic number one. The big Dunbar and bag. The first two things that I grabbed were, were two sticks that I really wanted to feature on the channel. One for the first time and one just to smoke for myself, but the Dundormas, 
in the one that we've smoked before. I'll link that review. And then the brand new Golden Child that was just released. These, the retro hail on these sticks, man. I mean, I haven't smoked the Golden Child yet, but I would assume, being that it's another Dondorma, that uh, it's going to follow suit. I mean, the retro hail on this bad boy right here, it's like chocolate ice cream, man. So good. So good. In the double Corona, and then... P was also nice enough to include some Papasakas. So we got both. Thank you, man. Looking so forward to trying out these Papasakas, bro. So forward. To round out the limited editions from Secreto, we also got the Polpetta, which we've smoked and featured on the channel. The Polpetta is a good stick, man. Just a nice little shorty, shorty Robusto, very fun. Uh, this one I have not had, the Todos Los Dias. This one right here, I've been looking forward to trying since EKB reviewed it, said such great things about it. The Sin Compromiso in four different flavors. Unreal, right? I mean, these are all 17 to $20 a stick. And then a Paladin de Saca, which I have not featured on the channel, but I have smoked at a local B&M. This is it's a fantastic smoke, man. We have the Bewitched. We've got the Unstolen Valor, which I have not had the opportunity to try yet. Cirilla, Barba Cirilla, the snake, right? And I know that this was a single store exclusive that Saka did. And then the Nakatamale, which we featured on the channel. We've got the hashtag NLMTHA in the Lancero. And then the 100th anniversary. Wow. I have not seen live in person yet. Wow, that looks great. And it also looks a little bit darker than the rest of the lineup. And then the Exclusivo. Sobra Mesa brown labels, along with a Sobra Mesa blue. So we got our coffee cigars all lined up. As he knows, the Mi Queridas, but in a little bit bigger Vitola. Really appreciate that. Get a chance to try these out in a little bit bigger bigger size Vitola. Regardless of if you're one of the regular viewers or you're brand new to the channel, definitely throw Pete some love and say thank you Pete down in the comment section below because he just blessed the channel with <laughs> so much stuff to keep us going, bro, for uh, so many sticks to keep us moving for a very, very long time to come. We've got a La Palina Goldie, and this is one of my favorites, man. Grown 50 years, and this looks like it's Maduro. A Tatuaje Skinny Monster, a Skinny Frank. I know I know that guy, that's a Skinny Frank for sure. Skinny Mummy, I believe Mummy was the one in the Connecticut. Liga number nine, always a choice Liga. So in all of the Davidoffs that I've smoked and in the Winston Churchill LE in the Figurado, I have not had a late hour. I have never had a late hour. So I, I am stoked to smoke that cigar. Oh, another Davidoff Year of the Rabbit. Room 101 Forest, Connecticut, and this is in the big boy right here, six by 60. El Wawense Wise Man in the Robusto. Good God, man. This is the biggest Olmec that I've seen. I didn't even know that they come in like a Churchill. <laughs> or at least I don't remember them coming in a Churchill. The Liga Pravada Feral Flying Pig. The Liga Ratzilla 20 Acre Farm. I love these. These are fantastic. I thought that initially they were you know, kind of high price point wise, but when you actually smoke them and compare them with other Connecticut's, they're they're pretty solid sticks, man. They're really nice. These are a couple of Roma Craft Sabertooths. Know that I thoroughly enjoyed the Sabertooth line. Thanks, brother. Appreciate that. The LFD Lanox, also another great line by LFD. The Senegere by Foundation try to group everybody together so the rest of the skinny monsters and then a couple of the chubby chubby monsters our little anniversario davidoff white label also in in cocktees size the corona in the tabernacle love the tabernacle line t52 and what looks to be a drac a velvet rat I only have one of these, sir, so I am very pleased to have a second to accompany it. The Doomsayer by Room 101. Super cool. I've never had the opportunity to try this one by Room 101, so excited about that. A Padrone 3000 series in what looks to be a 6x60. Never had a 6x60 Padrone. 
3,000, so very cool. One of the new Darumas, which we have a review coming out very soon on these. The Timeless Toast Across America 2023 by Fury Otego. And if you're watching this, you've probably already seen my Metropolitan review. Good God, the Super Ancho H99. This is brand new, I believe, by uh, Drew Estate in the 6x60 for this year. So super cool to try that out. Thank you. An Aganorsa Leaf. Very cool. In the Parejo style format. So everything is nice and round. Looking forward to trying that out. The Olmec in Maduro. I see some Fuente in front of me. So we have a Reserva Don Carlos, what looks to be in the number, I wanna say four, but it could be a three, I'm not sure. You can let me know in the comments below there, Pete. A Rare Pink in the short story format, which I have not had yet. Thank you very much. The Room 101 Farce in Toro. Beautiful cigar, or in Churcho. Is this a Churcho? This might be a Churcho. Eh pretty close uh, an andalusian bull always it's never a bad thing to have as many andalusian bulls as you can possibly afford in your humidor at any time and then we also have the tabernacle in havana seed which is one of my favorites along with another opportunity to try the melanic i've been looking forward to trying this again since uh the unfortunate experience that I had going to Dion's store up in Reno and being very sleep deprived. And then to finalize all of these sticks, we have the um, Destino El Siglo in Fuente Opus X, along with a 2020, three years of age on it, Forbidden X. Unreal, Pete. Unreal, dude. I can't say thank you enough times in this video, so I hope that there are enough thank yous in the comments below. I hope that everybody reaches out and says thank you to Pete. Go follow him at The Cigar Collective on Instagram. Follow his YouTube. He's a wonderful brother of the leaf. He's moderated our live stream before. He's, he's usually always in the comment section below hanging out too for the lives if he's not moderating them. So just overall, a fantastic brother of the leaf. Get to know him and uh, bomb him because if you bomb him, good things may be bombed back to you. <laughs> Sorry to put you on the spot, Pete, but thanks again, brother. I really appreciate it. And I look forward to catching all of you for another cigar unboxing very soon.